Hey, what's up guys? Kind of conservative engineer back with another problem that you might encounter in the AM portion of your civil engineering PE exam. This will be a geotech problem and we're just going to calculate the maximum bearing pressure on a footing. Let's uh, draw out a scenario real quick. I'm going to just draw, all right, let's draw something. All right, there you go. We have our footing right there. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to put a point load P and there's going to be a moment acting on this and that is going to cause an eccentricity so we're going to find the maximum bearing pressure given that there is an eccentricity um, you know due to the moment acting on the footing uh, we're going to need some givens first of all so that uh, your NCES is going to give you some lengths so here the width of the footing we're going to call B and we're also going to need L which uh, is also going to be a given so these are the givens so your point load, we'll say it's 40,000 pounds, or it could be 40 kips, whatever. I'm going to use pounds to keep it simple. Your moment is going to be 25,000 foot-pounds. Remember, it could also be uh, foot kips or in inches or whatever. Just keep the units consistent. B, we're going to, mm, let's do 3.5 feet for the width and the length of the footing we'll say it's four feet all right pretty much you got everything you need now um, now we're just gonna actually go and solve this problem right all right so first thing we have to calculate the eccentricity and if you want to know more about eccentricities uh, I think in your civil engineering reference manual it's a uh, chap or section I believe it's 36 right 36 I think 9 so that's where you're going to find all the stuff that's shallow foundations. So your eccentricity is just going to be your moment divided by your, your point load. So here we're going to do 25,000 foot-pounds divided by 40,000. And what you're going to get, let's see, let's solve it here, doo -doo -doo, 0 0.625 feet is your eccentricity. Now. To find the maximum bearing pressure, there's going to be two scenarios, all right? This, um, let's see, let's move it. Um, all right, so for one, if your eccentricity is less than the width divided by six, your maximum uh, bearing pressure, we're going to call it Q, is going to be your point load divided by the width times the length times 1 plus 6 times the eccentricity divided by the width all right that's going to be the case if your eccentricity is less than uh, your base divided by 6 now what if your eccentricity is greater than B divided by 6 well in that case Q which is the symbol we're using for uh, the bearing pressure is going to be this one is going to be four times the point load divided by three times the length of the footing and in parentheses is going to be the base minus two times e so that is going to be your two different um, scenarios again go to section 36 I believe that's the shallow foundations in the geotech section. You can read more about it. So let's actually solve this problem, right? Let's continue here. All right, so what is E? E, e equals 0 0.625 feet, right, which we found earlier. What is B divided by 6? So the base is going to be 3.5 feet divided by 6. What is that? Let's solve for that. 0 0.583 feet. All right, so it looks like the E is actually greater than B divided by 6, right? So in that case, we are going to use this equation right here. So that's what we're going to use, okay? So um, I'm going to start fresh. Let's do... Give me one second here. I'm just going to actually copy this out. So we will start it fresh here. So that's going to be the um, equation that we're going to use. 
So why don't we just solve for it, right? So in this case, Q max is going to be 4 times the point load divided by 3 times the length. And in parentheses, it's going to be the width of the, of the base minus 2 times your eccentricity, right? All right, so let's uh, plug and chug. We have 4 times, uh, it's going to be 40,000, bam, 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 divided by, right, 3 times, the length, remember, is 4, right, and now in parentheses, we're going to have 3.5 minus 2 times the e eccentricity, so let's do 2 times, and your eccentricity was 0 0.625. So if you put this in the calculator, what are you going to get? Your Q max is, one second, let me uh, type this out. Well, you know what, to make this easier, let's put this in parentheses as well. All right, so your total for your bearing pressure comes out to be 5,925 point nine three pounds per foot squared all right and that is your answer yep that's it so uh just to recap so we have this footing scenario with a moment and a point load and the moment is causing eccentricity we saw for the eccentricity moment divided by the point load now, is the eccentricity less than B divided by 6 or greater than B divided by 6? There's two different formulas for each case. And then we just plugged and chug, and we got your maximum bearing pressure is 5,925.93 uh, PSF, pounds per foot squared. All right. So, yeah, that's it. It shouldn't take you that long to do this problem once you have all the givens and you know where everything is. So, review chapter or section 36 of your civil engineering reference manual. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a nice day.